Good day to all, this is Mike Padua, and uh, we are back to our latest weather analysis for this Sunday to Tuesday, March 21 to 23, 2023. And this is our English version, brought to you by Typhoon 2000 in partnership with Naga College Foundation, about this power, Bank of the Philippine Islands, and Avenue Plaza Hotel. So, uh, before we begin, we have a uh, tropical cyclone, which is now a severe tropical storm named Mawar, and uh, it is uh, likely to become a Category 1 typhoon with winds of 120 or 130 kph later tonight or early tomorrow morning as it moves slowly in the general direction of the northern Mariana Islands where in Guam and uh, Saipan is in danger to be affected by a Category 2 or Category 3 typhoon come Wednesday. So folks down there in uh, Guam, please take all necessary precautions and prepare, particularly our uh, Filipino community down there in Guam and Saipan for the worst of this uh, typhoon. And uh, here in the Philippine Islands, we are still safe. Uh, but for the past 24 hours, there has been changes in the track, and we're going to show it to you in a while. But first, here's the latest graph set we created a while ago, and here's uh, Mawar to the south southeast of Guam. Now, uh, having uh, some uh, sustained winds of 110 kph, so just 10 kilometers shy of becoming a Category 1 typhoon as it moves towards the north-northwest at speed of 17 kph and the monsoon trough is uh, connected with this um, tropical storm and it's uh, bringing some cloudy conditions and thunderstorms from the uh, central Philippine Sea down across to the uh, central and eastern portions of Micronesia and now uh, the Philippine Islands it's all quiet there's no uh, major weather system except for Kalayan Island Group over the spot list. We have the southerly wind flow. This is now the uh, initial uh, uh, start of the uh, Habagat or the southwest monsoon, which is expected to rapidly strengthen when uh, this uh, uh, tropical cyclone enters par on Friday. Okay. Now let's uh, discuss f uh, the weather conditions for the next 24 hours of the Philippine Islands. It's going to be fair, hot with high heat index, but in the afternoon evening we expect these localized thunderstorms all throughout the country. When we created this graph set around 1 p.m., it's only uh, the Visayas and Mimaropa and parts of the Bicol region where thunderstorms are beginning to form, but later uh, this evening there are lots of thunderstorms now across northern and central Luzon, Metro Manila, Calabar Zone, also here over Mindanao. So watch out for lightning strikes and possible uh, flash floods when we have a heavy downpour created by these uh, intense uh, severe thunderstorms. We have a quasi-stationary high pressure which has formed and uh, this uh, high pressure in the next few days will track towards the northeast and it will reorient to the north of Mawar. The forecast of this system is going to change after three to five days. But for the next three days, it will generally be moving towards Guam. And uh, after uh, crossing Guam, it will start to veer towards the west. So the tracking will uh, eventually go this way with this uh, direction. Okay. And uh, we will discuss that in a short while. Now here's the uh, fast animation. So it's quite a large system at the beginning, but it will start to shrink as it becomes more organized and becomes a, uh, a strong uh, major typhoon. So Guam and Saipan here will be in grave danger in the next uh, three days. So please take all necessary precautions. So this is what we are uh, mentioning a while ago. There are now uh, massive thunderstorms forming all across the uh, topography of the Philippine Islands because of uh, conducive environment that thunderstorms will tend to form, especially since we are on the neutral conditions, just the end of the uh, uh, months after uh, La Nina. So we are on the uh, very normal conditions right now. And if we take a look at the zoom-in solid animation, so here we go. 
the six-hour satellite loop shows you the development of uh, soon-to-be typhoon Mawar and uh, the Philippine Islands showing some thunderstorms all throughout the archipelago. Now let's take a look at the wind and pressure forecast from the European model. I'm going to show to you the multi-model as well as the uh, Asian agency's tracks on uh, Mawar. Typhoon 2000 will be issuing uh, uh, storm watch and uh, advisories once it's nearing uh, it's near the Philippine area of responsibility. Most likely when it reaches Guam, we'll be issuing storm watch. Then upon entering par, the 12 hourly updates. And if it will thus pose a threat to our country, we'll be issuing six hourly updates. So, uh, this is from the European model. So, Monday, it will move closer to Guam. Tuesday afternoon, it will be uh, uh, to the east-southeast of Guam. And Wednesday afternoon, it will be uh, north of Guam. Then, Thursday afternoon, it will start to veer towards the west because of a developing high-pressure cell south of Japan. That will, that will steer the system to the west. And on Friday, it will enter the Philippine Air Responsibility as a uh, category 2 or 3 typhoon. Saturday afternoon, it will start to accelerate towards the west-northwest and could become a super typhoon here. Based on what we are seeing, the oceanic heat content is very warm. So uh, I would be surprised if it would it will become the first super typhoon of 2023 since the forecast mostly of the climate models calls for above average tropical cyclone formation in our basin and maybe we'll be having uh, a maximum of eight super typhoons this year that's usually the trend when we move into an el nino climate sunday may 28 it will be approaching batanes and taiwan area so uh, areas here over extreme northern zone, please take all the precautions if the track won't change. 29, it will pass very close to uh, Batanes. And then we will be having some enhancement of the southwest monsoon across the Philippine Islands from Visayas and Luzon, up to Luzon, I mean. And Tuesday, May 30th, it will be along Taiwan straight so it will pass over southern taiwan early morning of tuesday may 30th now let's reverse the, that one okay so the forecast of uh, uh, beginning friday because the five day forecast one two three four is until friday so from friday until tuesday next week may 26 to may 30 may 30th is considered very low in variability so there will be some changes still once the system approaches power we'll be having some more reliable uh, forecast and we will see if the track remains or it will track more to the north so likely this will be the area of concern okay we will include northern Luzon because there is also a possibility that it will dip down depending on the strength of the high pressure so it might go here or here or here so that's the scenario that we are going to uh, uh, observe in the coming days so just like what I said this is still highly uncertain or low probability where it will go and that's only from the European model while if we take a look at the uh, American model I'm gonna show to you here so these are all the computer models. So the most westerly track is that of the European model, which could bring some uh, damaging uh, environment or damaging uh, winds across uh, Batanes and Babuin Islands. While uh, close to the track is the UK Met and the US Navy model. But the American model is showing a recoverture towards southern Japan. So let's hope and pray that this will be the scenario and not this one. And uh, Canada, look at Canada. It's not uh, even affecting any parts of Asia. So 
this is uh, very nice but we are uh, weighing more into the uh, group of reliable computer models which is this one okay so let's hope and pray changes will still occur for the next uh, 24 to 72 hours now uh, let's take a look at the multi-model diagnostic comparison for the next uh, five days so the storm is here right now so the forecast intensity uh, maximum of the models are most likely it could become a category 4 typhoon of uh, 220 kph and could become a super typhoon here 230 240 kph right here so this is the uh, upper uh, hand of the computer models while the lower uh, portion of the computer model shows uh, with the winds of just uh, category 2 status 160 kph so uh, we shall wait and see but uh, if we take a look at the other model which is uh, let me see here this one this is the chips ensemble and then the chips ensemble is so wide okay the distribution of the forecast of the winds of Mawar in the next uh, five days and this uh, other uh, track of the ensemble chips model shows the storm reaching category 5 winds of the 290 to 300 kph while others are here just a tropical storm so the uh, JTWC is showing graph on the wind velocity and anything is uh, likely so the possibility of becoming a super typhoon remains because of gonna show it to you here wait a wait okay high oceanic heat content this is the uh, oceanic heat content when you have a very warm oceanic heat content that's uh, the uh, red and the dark orange the uh, typhoon will eventually rapidly intensify into a super typhoon so we are going to observe this in the next come um, next uh, in the next five days so the threat of becoming a super typhoons is very high as of this time remember the sea surface temperature is reaching a high of 30 degrees centigrade based on the american model while the hwf uh, hwrf model is around 29 is still high because tropical cyclone tends to develop a temperature of 26 and up the mid-level uh, relative humidity if the relative humidity is more than 70 uh, percent the storm will go in size it will be a large system as shown here on the american model while the uh, mm, hwrf shows a uh, medium to small sized tropical cyclone now uh, this is the wind shear the deep layer shear shows that the system might uh, intensify rapidly because it's going down so if we have a lower shear or lower upper level winds the typhoon will rapidly intensify okay and good outflow to the west east north and south will eventually rapidly intensify this uh, system now let's go back to the uh, asian tracks so all of the asian uh, agencies are identical from u.s beijing japan okay taiwan korea pagasa is not yet issuing updates they will issue updates once it enters power so it's also quite the same Okay, once they issue tracks so that's the uh, scenario so Fox up there in uh, northern Luzon please uh, monitor this uh, tropical cyclone uh, because of a possible threat to your area beginning uh, March 26 until beginning uh, May 26 until the 30th so please take on this precautions guys okay so 
that's the uh, scenario let's hope and pray that it will occur with no landfall in any parts of asia now what will be the rain forecast this is the rainfall accumulation for the next three days because of the approaching storm as usual the southwest monsoon will start to be activated now kalayana island group and the rest of the spot list will have moderate to heavy rains in the next couple of days and also the western sections of uh, uh, the philippine islands from western luzon metro manila mm, maropa western visayas and also mindanao will have some more thunderstorms because of <clears throat> the uh, approach of the rainy season which will start usually last week of may after may 15 so we're still awaiting the official announcement announcement of Pagasa so that will be anytime within the week or anytime next week so watch out for the uh, exact details from our official weather bureau Pagasa okay so there you go uh, we will keep you updated tomorrow and Tuesday we'll be issuing again updates on uh, our website typhoon2000.ph Facebook channel uh, typhoon2000, Mr. Typhoon.com YouTube channel, Mr. Typhoon TV, and uh, we will be back again in the next uh, 24 to 48 hours to give you more updates on the approach of soon to be Typhoon Mawar. And once it enters par on Friday, it, it will be named locally as Betty. Okay, it's gonna be a busy week ahead. So, again, thank you so much for watching our channel. And let's hope and pray that the storm will recurve and will not affect any parts of the country. And one more thing, what will be the effect of, uh, in our country? It's the Habagat, or the start of the southwest monsoon. So, uh, folks living along the western sections of the country, please take all necessary precautions against flash floods and landslides when we have this monsoon enhanced by a, a tropical cyclone. Okay, so... Have a great uh, evening and thank you so much for watching.